Hello, my name is Ella Snocky. I'm going into ninth grade. I'm from Raymore Peculiar East Middle School, and this is my storytelling Streganona by Tommy DePola. A long time ago, there lived an old lady everybody called Strega Nona, which means Grandma Witch. Although all the people in the town talked about her in whispers, they all went to see her if they had the troubles, because Strega Nona did have the magic touch. <laughs> you say you have a headache? <laughs> I have just the thing. But Streganona was getting old, and she needed someone to help her keep her little house and garden. So she put up a sign in the town square. <laughs> Perfecto! The next day, a boy named Big Anthony went to see her. <laughs> oh, sorry. They call me Big Anthony. Anthony! You must sweep the house and wash the dishes. You must feed the goat and milk her, and you must fetch the water. But there is one thing you must never do. Don't touch the pasta pot. What's stronger than Superman? More terrifying than a horde of zombies? Bigger than Donald Trump's wall? But surprisingly appetizing? The Apostolips. This disastrous recipe calls for two cups magic, three tablespoons lovable village idiot, and a dash of grandma channeling her inner Snoop Dogg. But don't forget to read the directions, because failing to heed the wisdom of your elders can result in a bad case of indigestion. Streganona by Tommy DePola. One day, while Big Anthony was doing his work, he heard Streganona singing. Peeking through the window, he saw her standing over the pasta pot. <laughs> Bubble, bubble, pasta pot. Boil me some pasta nice and hot. And suddenly, the pasta pot was filled with a boiling hot pasta. Then Streganona said, Simmer down, my pot of clay, till I'm hungry another day. How wonderful! That's a magic pot for sure. And Big Anthony stepped away from the window. But too bad for him, because he didn't get to see Streganona blow three kisses into the magic pasta pot. Someday, I'll get the pasta pot and make it cook. So two days later, while he was doing his work, Streganona approached him. Anthony, I must go over the mountain to the next town to see my friend, Strega Amelia. Do your work and remember, don't touch the pasta pot. Okay, Streganona, my chance to use the pasta pot has come. So as soon as Streganona was out of sight, he went into the kitchen, took the pot off the shelf, and put it on the floor. Um, bubble, bubble, pasta pot, boil me some pasta, nice and hot. And sure enough, the pasta pot filled with a boiling hot pasta. Aha, an idea. Big Anthony ran to the town square and shouted to the townspeople. Everyone, get your forks and plates and platters and bowls. Pasta for all at Streganona's house. And everyone got their forks and plates and platters and bowls. Big Anthony filled the plates of the town. And once everyone had had their fill, he said, Simmer down, my pot of clay, till I'm hungry another day. But alas, he did not blow with the three kisses, when suddenly pasta began to grow out of the magic pasta pot. Stop, pasta! But the pasta did not stop her! Big Anthony, do something! The pasta will cover our town! And it certainly would have, had Strega Nona not come down the road at that very moment. Simmer down, my pot of clay, till I'm hungry another day! And with a sputter, the pasta came to a halt. <laughs> Anthony, you wanted pasta from my magic pasta pot? 
So start eating. Oh, oh, oh. And he did. Poor big Anthony. Perfecto.